Hey guys, I hope you're all well. Right, um, today. Uh, today is just gonna be, I don't know, a f let's have a fly on the wall day. It's Monday morning. Normally I've done everything Sunday, so I'm prepared for the week on Monday, but I didn't do it. I had a few days off, as I said I was gonna have, and I went off to Wales with that northern bloke with the rusty Z900. Uh, we had a great time, and uh, yesterday I went and seen the granddaughter, which was absolutely fantastic. So I'm a bit behind. So today is gonna be what I normally do on a Sunday. So it literally is gonna be organizing stuff, getting stuff ready, doing my little list of the, the week's work. And yeah, just let's just have a mess about and see how it goes. <laughs> it's probably boring, so if you wish to hit the off button now, feel free. But that's what I'm doing today. I've got to get all the bikes out. This is this is the everyday thing. Push all this lot out and make some space. This shed looks way bigger on video than what it actually is. I know it's sort of a big shed, but I really do struggle sometimes with the amount of stuff I've got going on, <laughs> behind the scenes stuff and all that business. I do struggle with the space. I could extend it, meh, no. I don't know, I've thought about it, but then uh, these things that go on in my head that go against it. Anyway, ideally, I'd uh, love a workshop in the mountains where I just pull my van up alongside the workshop, me and the dog, live in the van, work in the workshop. But that's probably never gonna happen, so we'll just roll as we are. Anyway, I've got to sort the van out as well today, give that a clean out, because that's in a monumental mess from having a few nights out in it. Um, eventually I'll get that van sorted as well, but I'm desperate to put an insulated floor in it. That's going to be the first job because there's plans with the van in the summer. Something a bit different that I normally do on the bikes with thinking of doing in the van. So I have got to do my utmost best to try and make the van a tiny bit better for sort of sleeping and living in it a little bit more than I usually do. Anyway, first call, we've got that job done. Ah, T. Yeah, yeah, I went to the doctors as well for my shoulder. I've been thinking over the last week too. Well, this is getting worse. It shouldn't be getting worse. And I've noticed it's changing shape. Yeah, my shoulder's changing shape, which is not particularly good. So when I went to the doctors on Saturday, I got pulled about and lifted up and twisted and turned and all that business. And they've put it down from the injury. It's going calcified, a calcified shoulder. Whatever that means. Does that mean calcium? I don't know, I don't know. I probably didn't have enough questions. But it's all basically welding up. My shoulder is welding up solid. Which is not very good really, because I need it. I need it to do the things I want to do. So to start with, I'm on a course of tablets, which I've got to pick up today because they didn't have them. Maybe it's something they don't use very often. <laughs> They're probably from the vets. So <laughs> I've got to pick them up today. And I've got to do a course of steroid injections straight into the shoulder that sounds interesting so yeah I've got to wait for the call for that and I've got everything crossed fingers crossed that it'll start giving me a bit of movement back and get rid of a bit of pain because every time I move it now it pops which ain't very good well I'll try and move it anyway enough of that let's have my tea there's me snacks for the week and get this lot out that grieves me because it's raining. It proper upsets me putting that outside in the rain. I clean that every single day, nearly. Well, not every day, every other day. Is that is that wrong? Is that weird? Even if I've not used it, I clean that bike. Maybe a bit obsessive, but I like to look after it. 
to me it's an investment sort of and if i ever wanted to change it it's in tip-top condition and obviously it'll hold its value better rather than just run it into the ground i service it every time if anything goes a bit untoward with it i sort it out i polish it every single week whether it's been out or not and i like to look after it it's a little lobby isn't it anyway let's uh i'm gonna have my tea and throw this like outside and get on with sorting what's gonna happen this week <laughs> This is looking awkward, it's because it is <laughs> at the minute. It's going to be interesting. I've got to get a new battery for this. It's never ending, innit? <laughs> yeah, it had a battery on it last year, and like an idiot, I didn't put it on the trickle charger enough. It's killed it. Batteries never used to be like this, did they? I, I'm sure they didn't. You, can, you could leave them and just give them a boost and they'll be okay. This, I've had this on charge, went up to 100% on the charger. I left it another day, went to start it up, nothing. So yeah, that's another battery that's toast. I've got to sort that out. And it's just another job on the list. My, my job list is huge, it's stupid. I've got to, I've got to stop creating other jobs and get down it. That's what I've got to do. It's hard. <laughs> Ow. bikes out obviously we can't kick that out don't want to kick that out because I want to keep it dry because there's still some uh, touching up to do on the engine that may happen towards the end of the day because I've got to get it finished and gone uh, that's the <laughs> the parts bench for the for the Harley which we've got to sort out I'm gonna go through all the old nuts and bolts that we're not using and get them scrapped out in the scrap bin and line up the stuff we got to clean and obviously we got to do the front brake caliper I'm going to sort this bench out and get my pillar away it looks like that now needs washing because like an idiot put my dirty boots on it uh, so sort this bench out get everything lined up on there for the Enfield I have got some nuts on the way that, which is needed to put the crank casings together uh, they may be here today, if not, they'll definitely be here tomorrow. I think some 5, 6, 16, some stuff like that. Anyway, I can't put that crankcase together till they arrive. Hopefully, like I say, today or tomorrow. So in the meantime, if they don't turn up today, we'll just, obviously, I've got to sort the workshop out, the shed, 
um, put stuff away, put stuff back in the van, sort the van out a little bit, uh, may have visitors, sit and have a cup of tea, catch up, sort all these tops out, get everything clean, sweep up, get stuff away, clean lathe off, get these tops sorted out, and what's left of the day, we'll probably do a bit of Ali, and tomorrow, hopefully, then nuts will be here. So it's going to be a busy week, it is. Uh, we'll go and have a look at the van in a minute, so I've got to put stuff back in there. I'm up, and in fact, no, I ain't going to sweep the van out. When I get a minute, I'm going to go and jet wash the van out. My professor. <laughs> Air everywhere. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, eventually, I'm going to put the floor in the van, hopefully. I've sort of got a cost on that. So yeah, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of saving on that one. It's about works out about 400 quid thereabouts. Got to get the uh, obviously the plywood liner, wooden battens, the insulation between the battens, and then some sort of industrial liner across the top. It's gonna to be loads better when that's done because you, yeah, that floor's just horrible for walking on. It's hard to clean and all sorts like that. Like I say, I'm going to use the van a lot more this summer, especially with how this shoulder is. Um, so we can still go off and have a bit of fun. Time out. <laughs> anyway, let's crack on with some cleaning. Right, let's batten down the hatches. The yard needs cleaning as well. <laughs> there we go. Let's let some daylight in. I don't feel like we've uh, in a giant coffin. What's going on here? I'm in a tangle. I'm in a tangle with an exhaust pipe. There we go, that's better. Right then. I've got literally just put them down and lost them straight away and they gone there they are got some plastic tubs to put a few things on in here some of the old nuts and bolts and the new ones right that's empty in the bin pile of rags put them in the rag box in a minute right what have we got there I think to start with I won't throw the old stuff away until I know the bikes put back back together and we've got all the fixings correct. So let's get all of these. Bags of new ones. They're rubbish. That's empty. A tiny bit left in that. Fine line tape. I'll put that in a drawer in a minute so it's safe. Rubbish. Rubbish. We're in a right mess, aren't we? We're in a right old mess. Right, let's get the other tub and start putting that in. I need to take this top off, it's boiling now. Right, let's collect these uh, bits of day eight discs up, pads. I use them for everything. Put them somewhere safe. Oil filter ready for a change. A spider, go on, run. Don't go under there, you'll get squashed. That's these gone. <laughs> Front pads, oil filter, number plate line. Axle covers. Right, let's get another tub for the new bolts. Oh, more scabby old ones. 
Look how bad they go. Oh, drop that one. Look at that. Harley Davidson. Oh, I've got a funny thing to show you. Let, let's go while it's on my mind. <laughs> oh, Matthew spotted this when he we, we was in here the other day. <laughs> Obviously, he was having a good crawl around the Harley Davidson, <laughs> as you can imagine. Uh, he loved it. He reckons he's going to get one. He is. It'll probably go as rusty as his Z900. Anyway. We were looking at these gators. They're still got to be wired up a bit. I don't know if you'll spot it on the camera. But if not, I'll try and take a photo with my phone. It's spelt wrong. <laughs> it really is spelt wrong. Unless anyone can tell me a reason behind it. I don't know. To be... It's the funniest mistake ever. <laughs> I, I, like I say, I don't know if you'll see it, because the GoPro's not too good at close-up stuff. It's a B. It says Harley, oh, I can't even say, Harley David Bond. Harley David Bond. <laughs> What's that about? It's, it's on both of them, yeah. I'll, I'll try and swing it round a bit so you can catch it in different lights. Oh, that ain't too bad, is it? Like that. What's the reason for that, do you think? To get away using the name? Or it's just a funny mistake? Oh, I do not know. Harley David Bon. <laughs> That's what we'll call it from now on. It's the Harley David Bon. <laughs> Should we change that? <laughs> well, they've got to be aftermarket bits from a certain part of the world, I guess. I don't know. I'd like to say I've claimed at the start I claimed to not know a lot about Harley Davidsons. And uh, yeah, you guys have been helping me a lot in the comments. So yeah, that's quite a funny mistake spotted by young Matthew. Anyway, back on with cleaning. Right, let's put my little cleaning tub out of the way for a minute. Got it down there. Uh, big round tub for the new stuff. Let's put everything in there. Everything should fit in here. Right. Allen Ness grips. Which I might as well put on. They're there. The other grips are a bit tatty. They were looking tidier already, look. That's for the back axle. There for the exhaust pipe. What are these? I don't know what these are. Oh, they just come out of Gertrude's bag. Put them back in there. Oh, we got that uh, fuel pack thing. Nuts. Little clips that... Mm. I think I need to clean them up a bit. The coatings on everything just peels off in big lumps. So we'll try and get them cleaned up. Oh, we're looking better already. Put a lid on it. Oh. There we go. New and old. I'm in the drawer out of the way. Full set. Two full sets. Old nut. Ooh, two pounds. Pocket that one. Go towards a dog treat.
looking better. Right, let's give these uh, footrests a bit of a bit of a wipe over with the best polish in the world. In the world, I clean everything with that. Absolutely everything. It is brilliant. I know it says wood, but yeah, it's great. Cheap. Cheap and all them posh polishes that don't really do anything different. They're going to be good to go. At least all the fixings are nice. They look stainless actually. I think if, it, if I was to keep this, if this was mine, I'd put the normal footrest back on it, but hey oh, people do like these. They're coming up all right. I'll clean them properly when I come to put them on. That's one. This is from them, uh, I think you can get it on eBay actually, but it's from them like, own bag in shop type things. Whatever you call them. Sometimes if I'm passing one of them shops, I'll take a deep breath and force myself to go in. Quickly grab what I need and get out. flapping like a fish out of water. <laughs> that gives a bit more room. I'm going to try and get all the Harley Dave, everything to do with the Harley on this table. Uh, I've quickly took the caliper apart. Well, not apart, but popped the old uh, pads out, which are <laughs> about done. As you've seen, we've got new pads. I've cleaned all the backs up nicely. They've come up all right, so we can use them again. I've been online searching for nipples, and uh, no, not not them nipples. That them them nipples, because they're a bit corroded. So I've ordered some of them, and I've also ordered a piston kit because one of them is seized up absolutely solid and I'm just gonna have to butcher it to get it out so got a couple of pistons and seals on the way so that should put all that caliper right anyway that's that done I'm gonna get the rest of the Harley Davidson stuff put it on that bench so it's all in one place we got all the bits here I'm gonna get everything on this bench that's all sorted then ready for the next job on that i'll say there's not a lot left to do to it now hopefully we'll get that done fairly pronto i've also had an update with the doctors with my shoulder i have just had a phone call which i wasn't expecting to be honest with it being monday i was in the doctors on saturday like i say they sent me to a different one so i don't quite know the reason behind that but i ended up at a different doctor saturday and this morning just i've had a phone call off my usual doctor who's now gone through the notes from saturday and basically said what that doctor said is absolutely no good at all it's not going to work from what is read in my notes and the movement well the movement i haven't got with it and the way it's changing shape and all that is now fast tracking me he said he's got the form now he's going to put it straight into leicester hospital to fast track me into a trauma thing i don't know 
I'm not used to going to the doctors and going through all this. I, I normally steer clear, clear from them. And anyway, I'm, I'm going into some trauma thing. I will hear from them within the next 24 hours to get this, get me in and get sorted because it's seizing up and getting worse and worse. He says, as much as you probably don't like it, it's definitely going to need surgery. I need to get in there for a scan, not an x-ray, a scan, so they can see what they've got to do and get it sorted. So that's what's happening now. <laughs> Strange, but yeah, that's how it's going. Anyway, in the meantime, we're carrying on in here the best we can. Uh, what's next? I'm just probably going to go through the Enfield stuff next get me head round all that to make sure we all the bits that we've ordered is all what we need double check all that uh so we can get on with that this week obviously uh the bits for the brakes so we're ordered for the early like i just said we've got bits we can do to that as well because i really really do want that done and gone as soon as possible oh we got the new number plate grab hold of that Do do do. I thought I'd put a little marker on it. <laughs> so I've got to just finish the uh, the side mount there with the number plate light. So that's all done. Anyway, that bench next. Find a home for the Ali exhaust, and then we've got the rest of the bench to lay the boxes of goodies out. Oh, you're back, Blue. Hello. <laughs> you're back again. There's still no treats. They're, they're down there. Not on the floor. I meant down that way. In the house. <laughs> These actually clean up all right, these do. Right. Uh, <laughs> we get in there bit by bit. Enfield box of goodies. You inspecting, eh? Under inspection, are we? <laughs> what else have we got? We've only got another box over here, the new stuff. I'm going to double check some of that. Make sure we have got everything to start the engine. Look at him, look. What are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? You can't eat that either. No. No. I said I'll try. <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> He'll try to eat it. <laughs> You'd have a go at anything, wouldn't you? It's starting to look better. It's, ne it's nearly looking organised. <laughs> a few more bits off here. Ooh. And that one. Oh, I think most of that's been replaced. Some of it anyway. There's all the old bearings. What's that off? Well that's off a set of handlebars. We'll get that in the cupboard. Oh, find home for that. 
Oh, that's a van indicator at the door mirror. I need to fit that. I'm not sure if the mirror's got to come apart to get in or it clips in. We'll see. I broke, I broke that off probably two years ago <laughs> and this is still sat there so I'll get that done soon like I say I want to do a little bit to the van as and when I can uh, I've, I've been having quite a few people ask about frames actually the Enfield frames the, the rear uh, tail section that I build uh, just in the middle of organizing some more axle plates which are apart from two more sets I've run out of uh, I've got two frames, you probably won't see them, the few components down there that I've got to build, one's for a full build that I'm doing for a friend from down south, I've got to get cracking with that, that's been going on way too long, I'll say, I'm slowly catching up with stuff, and I just want, I just want jobs out of the way, I really do, anyway, get this uh, mess sorted out, Put that up there. Sardines, anybody? Put that on my snack pile. Sort that out in a bit. Well, some of that's got to go in the van. See, I can nearly see the top of this now. I ain't been able to see the top of that. Oh, that's for the van. I forgot to put that on. That's for the headlight. We shall put that on in a bit as well. That'll be another little job done. What we got here? No, oh, that was a speedo. I was going to consider putting on the KX, but I don't think we're in any rush to do that at the moment. <laughs> oh, some of the old inspection plates off the uh, Enfield. We'll, we'll keep hold of them for now. Them bits we'll go through and throw the stuff away when the bike's all in one piece. I'm gonna go through that little last bit. So we've got that top cleared. Look at that. <laughs> I haven't seen that surface that clean for a while. I have spilt some on it though. I think that might have been thread lock. It tipped over. But hey, it's brown what it was. I've now got a free surface to fill with uh, junk again. So next is a cup of tea. And then I've got to get all that stuff back in the van and sort some stuff out in the van to clear that up a bit. I don't think I'll bother putting these back in. I've got two of these. I don't think they'll be needed just yet. They're for the dirt boys. They're absolutely brilliant. So you can take these in and out. They lock in to a plate that's in the floor with these cams basically you just push your bike in drop them down they clamp your foot rest that one's got the pin in they clamp your foot rest job done then to get it back out you press them and get your bike back out no strapping down no nothing the, the suspension ain't compressed they are really really good <clears throat> So yeah, I won't bother putting them back in yet. I don't think there's going to be any off-roading for a little while, so they can stay in here. But I am going to get all that lot back in there. The camp bed, the other camp bed's already in there. And a bit of my bedding. In case I decide to go and disappear for the night and things like that. I say I'd like to get the van sorted. <clears throat> Even just when I'm doing like edits and all that over a weekend, I can just go and clear off into the mountains for a bit of peace and quiet do a load of editing sat in my van and all that so yeah it'd be nice to get it sorted a little bit better anyway cup of tea and then we'll get this lot in the van the van i'm in a bit of a mess in here stuff is just everywhere uh, right, uh, beds first. All the dogs are barking outside. Uh, uh. 
So yeah, it would be nice to get this sorted out a little bit. I'm not going over the top, I'm not going to do like a full on camper thing. I know I haven't touched this for a long, long time. I was doing it on the other channel. And yeah, I do need to get back onto it at some point and get it sorted. So all I'm basically doing in here, I'm going to finish the insulation. So it still needs doing down the bottom here. And then pack all the cavities up with insulation as well. First, I want to get the floor done so that uh, you can buy the pre-cut plywood, which I think is just going to be the easiest route and quickest. Uh, then put battens across, inch deep. In between the battens, put that like, Celotex insulation board in, again, inch thick. Then go straight over with the ply. That'll sort the floor out. I want that done first because this floor's a nightmare. It'd be nice if it was just nice, clean and level with a lino down so I can just clean the van out, just sweep it out. And then after that, probably do the, the boards up the side, finish the insulation off, uh, probably add some better lighting. And at this end, I was thinking to take the bulkhead out or not. I think I might leave it. I think I might leave it in or put a window in or something like that. And I'm gonna put a, like a bench seat width ways, but you can get them so they pull out a little bit. And then the pad that goes up the back for your backrest, you then flip that down onto the bottom. So you end up with a bed, probably as wide as these camp beds. I think if someone sleeps whip ways and then just have a camp bed at the ready for someone to sleep down that way. And to be fair, with any sort of traveling in the summer, I'd much rather sleep outside under the stars by the van rather than in the van. If it's, you know, them warm sunny nights. Sun, sunny nights? <laughs> There's a new thing. Warm summer nights. Drag the camp bed outside. Because I always park in remote places in the middle of nowhere in the mountains and you can't beat a night under the stars you just can't beat it and I've done that several times and that is most enjoyable so yeah although I'll have sort of a like a permanent bed width ways and then obviously under that bed there would be little compartments I can put stuff one end I'll permanently fix a diesel eater the diesel eaters have come down in price again to like 70 quid so I'll fit one in that end permanently I may even put a feed into the van diesel tank so you don't have to keep messing about with diesel inside here it's done then So yeah, that'd be basically it. Oh, then a split charger. So on a big battery, on the battery I've got my diesel eater in the shed running on, that thing will actually run for about four days on that battery without even charging it, which is pretty good. And that ain't even a leisure battery, it's just a big car battery. So they don't drain that much power. So if I've got a sort of the same battery, I know some of the, um, the other batteries are quite expensive. The leisure batteries that can be very expensive. So I'll probably just get another battery the same as that one, because I know it's good. That's all pulling up. And just use that. Why is this all getting trapped again? These laces are a nuisance on these things. Oh, it's all got wrapped up again. Why am I struggling to put a camp bed in a bag? Oh. Finally, we're in. Yeah, that'd be it. I don't want no TV in here. I really don't. I want nothing like that in here. Look 
them dogs. What are they doing? Right, that's one. Careful. <coughs> oh yeah, and a table. A table I can just probably have on a hinge that I can just put down in a feet fold the feet fold out just to I don't know be able to put the kettle and all that on the, the jet ball that I've got. And maybe a little camping stove that can all be done in here or outside. Who's that? I've not seen that car before. Two in the bag. Oh, where's me of a stick? Oh, there it is. sleeping bags I think you can I've washed the military one I'll just throw it in the wash and see how it goes let's open a back door see if we're gonna let some light in is that better huh? oh that's better isn't it struggling <laughs> and it's in uh, right clear up the top and get everything back up there oh, two beds the rest of the mess <laughs> I need to figure out the spare wheel as well see if I can get that back on the carrier under the van and sort of lock it up somehow so yeah this this van had uh, alloy wheels on and I've took them off put the steel wheels back on because the tires were stupidly big it was ridiculous and yeah I had a blowout in Scotland and the, couldn't find a tire anywhere nobody just stopped that size so in light of that I thought you know what I'm gonna put the steel wheels back on and eventually put more of a like an all-terrainy tire on and just dub the steel wheels powder coated black that'll do me I'm not after the van looking really posh it's just uh, I want it more practical than anything so yeah steel wheels back on I've got some spare steel wheels. Me and a friend got hold of some between us because he's got a van like this. We're going to get them powder coated and we're going to end up with two spares each, which is good, especially if you're going on a real big journey. So I'm going to figure out a way out to sort of put them on the van somewhere and uh, carry two. Yeah, I'm just doing it really, really basic.
I'll say obviously you're not going to see none of this so I'm just packing it up there you won't see any of it I'm going to box the arches in as well so I'm going to insulate them got a bit of soundproofing on them some of that sound deadening stuff so I'm going to insulate all them and then box them in and have some little pads made up so they so you can sit on them as well I'll say that end this van's quite wide I'm sure it's six foot something I've laid down in it I can fit width ways <clears throat> so yeah the bench seat the whole width doesn't look very wide on the camera the whole width and then that'll drop down into a bed I say little cabinets underneath it where you can store stuff as well and eliminate all loads of clutter rolling around in the van like that's happening at the moment and probably a drop down table somewhere or something you could slide in below this window or whatever or there I say <clears throat> a little cupboard just like one cupboard to put a few cups and things that'll do I don't it doesn't I don't need anything else really I don't need it to be posh I don't need a kitchen in here I don't need proper fitted cookers and all that I was gonna go down that route but I prefer to sort of revolve it around carrying bikes as well so just the bare essentials in here I can get a decent camp stove and cook outside could even get an awning off the side of the van so if it's raining you're still okay to cook outside and stuff like that uh, a better toilet I, I think that needs burning <laughs> I, th <laughs> I think he's ready for a viking burial somewhere out the way <laughs> yeah i'm gonna get one of them one of them ones you can flush with a chemical like chemical toilet you can flush it needs one of them and again that could probably live in a part of that like bench seat somewhere out the road so it ain't floating about literally you don't want them floaters floating about <laughs> and again it's just there for emergency you wouldn't like be using it every day if you could help it <clears throat> uh park up in the walls with your little shovel job done <laughs> anyway i'm gonna get the rest of this stuff up get the rubbish collected up and try and get everything out of here so when i do get a minute i can go up the jet wash and jet wash all this floor out ready for when i start getting some materials right that's the back a bit better a bag of rubbish to take out and a few bits cups to clean right i'm gonna sort that uh, rubber boot out on the headlight now Look, I've got to, I've got damp in there because I forgot to put the boot back on. Hold that up with my head on it. Get in. Oh, where have I put the rubber boot? In my pocket. Hold on. There we go. Which one was it? That one. Sorted. I think. No, it's not. I can put that on right. What's going on here? Why can't I get that in there? That's the one. It's on. Put that one a bit better. There we go. Still ain't lost the drop of coolant with that stuff I put in for the head gasket. Those of you who remember that, I put the the head gasket went on this van. Oh God, prob what was that? Probably two years ago now and I put this stuff in and it's done nearly 14,000 mile with it and it's still going strong it said it was guaranteed for life so yeah does what it says on the tin which is good right let's put the bonnet back down yeah ain't lost a drop 
of coolant. Amazing! Oh, that's it. Bear with me, I've got my head holding the bonnet on. Sorted. Yeah, I've got the steel wheels back on lock. Also, I've got, we've got a spare set to sort of swap them round and get more of an all-terrain tyre put on there. You know, when you go off in the tracks up the mountains, it'd be a probably a bit more of an advantage with all-terrain tyres on. But again, I'll do it as and when I can. It'll get sorted over time, bit by bit. Okay, we are sorted. So that's all uh, Sunday's jobs done on a Monday and hopefully ready to crack on through the week now. Uh, like I say, we're just waiting for some nuts to come for the Enfield engine. Uh, they didn't arrive today, so I'm guessing tomorrow now. And then we can crack on with all that stuff there and start getting an engine back together. And hopefully it's not gonna take as long. Everything's gonna go to plan. Famous last words. Yeah, everything's gonna go to plan. Of course it is. And we'll have that engine back in the frame in no time. I'm quite looking forward to seeing it all in there, to be fair, with all the different mixtures of blacks and stuff. Yeah, I think it's going to look well. So, yeah, it won't be long before it's in there. We'll soon get it sorted. And then when that's in there, all back in one piece, I will then start the wiring. And while I'm doing the wiring, I will send the tank and the rear mug guard off for painting and get that done. Anyway, obviously we got this to finish, like I said. Everything's all there, ready to go back on now, all organized. We're just waiting for the pistons, for the caliper, the sort of the rebuild kit, and we can get that on and just get that back together after we've done the little bits on the engine. Exhaust back on and sorted. Yeah. It's, you know, like I say, I've been waiting for bits and doing bits in between and I had a couple of days off, so hopefully this week we will crack on and get a boatload of work done. That is the plan. Anyway, sorry it's not been much of a video. It's been a bit of a mess about video. I have to do things like that, you know, clean the shed up and stuff like that. It's looking a load better in here, look. Even the lathe's nice and clean, ready to go for the next job. The sides are clean-ish, as good as they're going to be. I can now see the top of the uh, the tool chest there for the first time in ages. And everything's ready to go. Floor swept. We're sorted. Anyway, next video, we'll be cracking on with some proper work. I promise. <laughs> Anyway, cheers for watching guys, see you very soon with some progress on the Enfield and a finished Harley, hopefully. Cheers for watching guys, take care.